The Teresian Association originated in Covadonga, Spain in 1911, where it was started by Saint Pedro Poveda Castroverde, priest, humanist, and educator, martyred for the faith in 1936, and canonized by Pope John Paul II in Madrid in 2003. In 1913, Father Poveda met Josefa Segovia, who was to work closely with him and who later became the first president of the Teresian Association. It was she who presented the Teresian Association to Pope Pius XI, and he approved it as a primary pious union in 1924. After the death of the founder in 1936, Josefa Segovia continued the work with great fidelity and zeal and established the association in Africa, Asia, and more countries in America and Europe. In 1952, the Theresian Association started in the Holy Land, and the first members were offered to teach Spanish, but also had as their priority the formation of the young people who came to them and the families they visited. Language was not a barrier because love and zeal were their driving force. Love that was fruit of their intimacy with the Lord and zeal to extend the kingdom of the Father and share their Christian faith. The first house of the Theresian Association was established in Jerusalem in 1960 thanks to the assistance of local Christians who helped the first members to root themselves, seeing that through the witnessing of their lives, living in hope, and aiming for the improvement of life through education was possible. It was in 1965 that the Theresian Association was entrusted with the running of the Pontifical Mission Library in Jerusalem. This was a place where the members worked with young people, planting the seeds of love for reading, the acquisition of culture, and zeal for human formation. More graced opportunities that led to open doors of direct and active ministry with young Palestinians commenced when the Pontifical Mission Library in Bethlehem was opened in 1972. We recall here the words of the founder, Saint Pedro Poveda, when he said, You ask me now, what can you do? You can conquer the world, no more, no less. Who made this work so great? Who propagated it? Who overcame big obstacles to this great enterprise? Who made all these possible? You, young people. O oh, youth, powerful weapon, strength of the world. Father Poveda proved that women can have access to higher education and leadership in society through his work, the Theresian Association, which was started with women, and governed by women. He believed that faith and science are compatible, and he demonstrated through the lives of the first women members that academic and professional competence harmonizes well with a deep faith and fidelity to gospel values, nourished with a deep intimacy with God. Here in Bethlehem, we wish to focus on some Christian career women whose lives have been touched by the teachings of St. Pedro Poveda. At a young tender age, and having been registered as members of the Pontifical Mission Library, which was managed by the Theresian members, they recall and want to share the treasure of having been in contact with the association. I am Vera Kusa from Palestine. I graduated from Bethlehem University in 1980, BA in Business Administration, and started working at Bethlehem University Library since then. During my years of work, I had the opportunity to attend courses internally or abroad, which widened my knowledge in library science and helped me become what I am at the present. All these facilitated by members of the Theresian Association. I knew the Theresian Association since I was a kid at school, let's say some 40 years ago when they opened the Pontifical Mission Library in Bethlehem. They were librarians with so many talents. I used to go to the library every day to borrow books or to have some fun. 
The place was big to play tennis, to learn how to play the guitar, to draw, and most of all to read. I remember spending hours in the library, although my parents wanted me to spend more time at my father's souvenir shop in case some tourist comes. I will always remember this kindness, and my love for the Theresian members continued till I grew and became an adult at the university. I am Rima Jakaman Dabdoub. I come from Bethlehem, Palestine. I've graduated from Bethlehem University in 1978, majoring in English and with a minor in education. I obtained my master's degree in TESOL from Boston University, USA, in 1992. Currently, I am an English instructor at Bethlehem University for ESP and TEFL courses in both the English department and SAT, subject area teaching, program in the Faculty of Education. I also teach two modules on ethics and writing standards for the MECAD Masters in International Cooperation and Development and Masters in Biotechnology at BU. The Theresian Association played a big role in my life. During the 70s, my sister Grace and I, other friends and classmates formed a group that met regularly and took part in the Theresian Association activities in the Holy Land and mainly in Bethlehem and Jerusalem. I am Grace Jackman Hayat from Bethlehem, Palestine. I graduated with a BA degree from Bethlehem University in 1980, majoring in chemistry with a minor in biology. I worked in the laboratory of the government hospital for a few years. I am now a housewife who takes care of the house and the family members. I raised up three children. The eldest is now a doctor specializing in gynecology and obstetrics. The middle is a daughter who is working on her PhD in clinical psychology in Canada and the youngest will be graduating in June as an industrial engineer. Together with my sister Rima, we regularly participated in the Theresian Association activities. By the way, my son and two daughters were members of the Pontifical Mission Library like me, their mother, and joined some of the formative activities during summer holidays. Aside from working with Theresian Association members, I used to join the prayer meetings of the Theresian Association or joint celebrations during feasts at the residence, either in Jerusalem before having the roadblocks and now here in Bethlehem because of the wall. This kind of activity has helped me to be strong in my faith. We met at the Theresian Association, in our homes, at the Pontifical Mission Library, in the church, and sometimes in a picnic for the day. I'm very grateful to the international members of the association who came all the way from the Philippines, Spain and other countries and helped us begin our journey of spiritual growth. At that time, we were small, school children, but they made us realize we can make big things. We spent much time in the Pontifical Mission Libraries, in the Holy Land, in the Church, and in the meeting rooms. The dedicated members of the Theresian Association always guided us in our life back in school and at the university, helped us in our daily reflections realize the presence of God in our actions. When my parents passed away, they were beside me, as I am the only child of my parents. When I got married and had children, my friends from Theresian Association celebrated with me. During all these faith events, and this continues with my first grandchild, Carla. We were informed inspired and motivated by these remarkable members who helped us be the best we could. They made us feel we are not alone. They helped us create a life full of meaning and importance by making wise and conscious choices.
through the various discussions we have come to realize the importance of education and to learn more about St. Pedro Poveda, the founder, and Joseva Segovia, the first president of the Theresian Association. As a woman, I feel strong when I see how Theresian Association members leave their parents to help others all over the world. During these meetings, we were able to get to know about St. Pedro Poveda's philosophy and principles of education, other cultures, and to realize the importance of education. I believe that through education, faith, and strong will, we could build a society that seeks justice and peace. The presence of the Theresian Association in the Holy Land dates from 1952, almost 60 years now. They also run the Pontifical Mission Libraries in Amman and Bethlehem. With their educational mission, they contribute much for the formation of Palestinian youth and preparing leaders for the society. In my career now, I feel I'm giving back. I can certainly make an impact on the lives of the students, my family, relatives, and of the society at large. My name is Hanadi Sudah Yunan. I am a lecturer of English Literature at Bethlehem University. I came to meet the Theresians as a child when I went to the Pontifical Mission Library in Jerusalem. From the very first moment I met them, they embraced me and I felt their love. They took me as their own child. They opened my eyes to all kinds of knowledge. When I asked questions, they guided me to readings that quenched my thirst. I was so lucky to have met them. They advanced my education and later on, when I needed it, they offered me a job as a university student at the time. I was so lucky to have met the Theresians when I did. They were my friends, my mentors, and later on my colleagues. Their work ethic, their love of God, their compassion to all human beings, regardless of ethnic, religious, or political affiliation, or any kind of background, inspired me and made me the person I am today. I have come to choose teaching as a career because of them, and I cannot see Palestine without them. I hope they continue working their good deeds in the Holy Land. These women continue to be like salt of the earth, the gospel image that Pedro Poveda uses to describe a Christian presence that doesn't attract attention to itself, but has effectively influenced others to be the best of who they can be. For you, I place learning alongside spirituality. And I believe that spirit and learning constitute the essence of the Tresian Association. <laughs>